whenever this story comes up, I feel like saying the same things and talking about my poor 20-somethings. It's about working from home. And I just think it's not the way forward. I'm quite happy to have a bit of hybrid working and a bit of flex in everybody's schedule. But I think essentially, I agree with Jacob Rees Mogg. And just before the news, I revealed or, you know, you've all seen the story, I think you may not have done. He has gone round a Whitehall department and left notes on people's desks who are not in the office in person, who may be, I don't know, out to lunch, but much more likely working from home. He's written a piece in the headline says the only place to fine tune Whitehall's Rolls Royce is in the office. And he's making the point that if you joined the civil service, the public sector, and part of your, as you joined, when you joined, I should say, your contract said you will work in London in the office. These are the office hours. And if since the pandemic you are using hybrid working and the working from home mandate that was and the flexibility that has led from that mandate to carry on working from home when the government wants you back in the office. Well, he's basically saying that um, people, if people aren't back in the office, it will be fair to assume that the job does not need to be in London. There's a veiled threat from the Minister for Brexit Opportunities, uh, who has a seat at Cabinet, that if you don't go back to the office in person, you are basically signalling to your bosses that they can reassign your position. Well, I mean, I think that may be what is needed um, I'm in the middle of a, a administrative bureaucratic um, nightmare at the moment uh, to do with probate. And the, the delay for probate because people are working from home, I think, is up to a year. So you can have something delayed for that long. We saw the Times, I think, do uh, an expose of the DVLA, um, the way that driving licences and all this is being held up. It's holding up people's lives because people are sitting at home working from home. They're on their pelotons. They're not on their bikes trying to find jobs. They've got jobs, but they're on their pelotons. They're watching Netflix and they're doing home working. Now, I know there'll be people who say it's much easier to combine childcare or caring for elderly parents with homeworking, and I take that point. But I do think that Jacob Rees-Mogg is probably right on this. And if you have taken a job on the assumption that you'll be in your department, you'll be um, having face-to-face -face meetings, you will be doing all the things that you used to do in person, in an office, and turning up for work, and, and obviously uh, supporting the local sandwich bars and the local coffee shops by being in the workplace, then I think you are contractually bound to do that. And I think Jacob Rees-Mogg is right to flag up that if you're not going to do it and you refuse to do it, well, maybe you should take a pay cut or maybe you should take a change of job.